we now we are going to look at animation of gel electrophoresis so let's look at that animation now we are going to talk about the gel electrophoresis procedure it is used to separate the dna fragments of different sizes as i've mentioned electrophoresis uses electric current to separate different size molecules in a porous sponge like matrix just the same principles apply to molecules going through narrow spaces as they apply to people or vehicles trying to make their way through a traffic jam the particle smaller the entity the quicker it will move just like in a traffic jam a person on foot can move faster than the one on the bike which can move faster than the one on the motorcycle or which which can move faster than the person traveling in a car so on and so forth the smaller the size of dna the quicker it will move through the gel the gel is basically a matrix through which these dna molecules have to move it is placing obstacles in the path of dna so it is restricting the movement of dna the smaller the dna the quicker it can move i would like to mention that one of the people who invented this procedure dr bill sugden he was also my professor while i was studying at university of wisconsin madison he is one of the people who invented this procedure as i have mentioned it is made from agrose gel is made from purified seaweed and we can pour it like gel we use at home and make it any shape we want and in this case we are making it a rectangular shape and we have placed a comb at a specific location one one end of the gen gel had a comb and we removed the when we removed the comb the place where the teeth of the comb were they basically form little wells in which we can add our dna sample then we take this gel and place it in a container and fill it with a buffer that can conduct electricity so after we have done that the samples will be loaded in the gel so here we are going to load the samples here is a pipette which is loading different samples remember one of these samples will also be the known size dna fragments these known size dna fragments will be used to compare the size of the dna fragment that we have produced with pcr here we are pointing out that dna is negatively charged molecule and it will move towards the positive electrode once the electric current is applied and the region between the well and the tip of the other other tip of the gel is basically the lane so this is basically the lane in which the dna molecules will move since the shape of the well is rectangular squished rectangle that would basically also be the shape of the band so now let's move forward we are going to apply the electric current the dna is going to move remember the gel is sort of like a lump of uh, sort of accumulation of mesh of hair and the smaller the dna the quicker it will move towards the positive electrode so here when we turn on the current the dna in the well starts moving towards the positive electrode so after we have run our gel we will stain it with a special dye this dye binds to dna generally people have been using ethidium bromide it's a flat molecule that can insert itself inside the space between the spaces or uh, interspaces between the bases and when the stained gel is exposed to ultraviolet light it the dna bands start to glow here marker is basically or the dna ladder it is also called because it it forms like the steps of ladder these dna fragments of different size say for example this may be 500 base pairs this may be 800 this may be 900 1000 2000 2500 3000 3500 so on and so forth so when we run the gel we place our pcr product and run it we can compare we can estimate the size of our pcr product here in this gel we are not actually loading the pcr products it's a different uh, product but the principle still applies we can look at the size of the dna fragments that are present in the gel this gel can also be photographed and 
the photograph can be stored or filed in uh, for future references. So here we have a procedure which allows us to detect the product of PCR reaction and also very importantly we can measure, we can have some rough idea about the size of our PCR product. The, the procedure we looked at is the gel electrophoresis.